Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to be walking through how to fix holes in drywall. And I'm going to assume you have an irregular hole in your drywall, it might look something like that. And so the very first thing you're going to do, ironically, is actually make this hole bigger. And so what I do is I come in with a level like this, and I basically draw out with like a pencil or whatever uh, some square lines. And the reason for this is because it's a lot easier to cut patches for drywall that are perfect squares than to try to cut some drywall with like an irregular shape like this. And don't worry about paper and stuff like this, just, you know, try to get something like that so it's fully enclosing this space and so it looks like this. Now the next thing you can do is you can come in with, this is called a drywall knife, and I don't like using these all too much because I feel like they can sometimes make things worse and they're very, uh, you know, they'll tear up the edges. Um, so what I usually do is I'll come in with like a utility knife or a box cutter and I'll show you guys how that looks. But basically all I do is I come in here and I'm just going to keep on pressing the blade into this drywall. And so drywall, um, if you can see, is really basically just two pieces of paper. You've got a back side, which is usually kind of brown paper like that. And then you've got a front side. This can be white or purple. Um, and then in the middle, you've got this kind of like powdery stuff. So the way it works is you can actually cut very nice lines with drywall uh, using a utility knife. Um, and I'll show you guys how that looks too by just cutting through that top paper layer. And then if you hit it when it's on an edge like this, it'll break really cleanly and then you can just cut the paper on the other side. So I'll show you what that looks like. But at the end of the day, um, what we're going for is something that looks kind of like that, where I can just put this in and it'll fit pretty well. And I'll just add filler around the side so that it'll be pretty good at the end. So um, I'm going to walk you guys through now uh, this step here and we'll get back to it. All right, so now that we made our hole nice and square, I have a spare piece of drywall here. It's too big, it's not gonna fit in there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of eyeball this and um, say, you know, I'm gonna probably cut starting there. So I'm gonna have to shorten up this side and then I'm also gonna have to cut this uh, bottom piece down a little bit so that this thing will fit in nicer. So I'll show you guys how we do that. But basically I'm just gonna mark this guy and then I'm just gonna cut a line through this uh, with the blade and then we'll show you how to snap that. So here is my piece of drywall and I've measured out four inches, which is gonna be the width of this thing. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with my utility knife or box cutter if you want. And we're just going to basically press down lightly into this thing here. You want to be really careful not to cut yourself. Just go over it a second time and go a little bit deeper. One more time. Okay. Now I'm going to stick it out like this. I'm going to hold down this side and then we're just going to hit that. You see how nice of a clean line we get? It's really sweet. And then I'm just gonna fold this back the rest of the way so we have a little bit of a crease on the other side. And then on the other side of this drywall, I'm gonna come in again with the utility knife and then we're just gonna cut it. Just like that. So that is how you get a nice clean cut with this drywall. And so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the other side of that hole and we're going to cut that too. All right, so I spent some time uh, just shaving off the corners on this thing to get it to fit a little bit better in this hole. But now we've got a pretty nice tight fit in here and it's okay that, you know, I didn't get all of it out, but you know, that'll just be filler. Uh, but yeah, so basically that's what this patch looks like right now and so the other thing I'm going to need though is because there's no backing to hold this thing from coming out or getting pushed in too far I'm going to come in with uh, some piece of scrap wood this is actually from a pallet and so I'm going to cut off a piece I've got my wood cut to length and I have a screw so I'm just going to take this thing and I'm going to try to do this gracefully 
gonna hold this thing up against the drywall like that. You don't wanna pull too hard, but just holding it in there. And now I'm gonna come in with this. I'm gonna press it in place. You can see how it's pulling this thing back now. Cool. So now I've got a backing for my thing and I don't think I can get another screw in here, but it doesn't really matter. It just needs to be you know, strong enough to hold this whole thing in place. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy and we can push this one into our little hole and just try to make it so that all these sides are flush-ish. We're gonna be filling all these little gaps with filler anyways. But that's looking great. And then I'm just gonna throw another drywall screw through the middle of that. So it's now getting pushed up a little bit. There you go. So we've now filled this hole. We'll go over with filler. We'll sand it and uh, people will never even know.